Hello, first graders. It's Mrs. Croissant here with a new author study. For the last few weeks, we had been working with Mo Willems' books, and we read Elephant and Piggy, we read The Pigeon Book, and we got to do a really deep dive in looking at some of the things that were unique to that author and um, some of the strategies he used when he was writing. So that was a lot of fun. This week and moving forward for the next few weeks, we have a new author. Our new author is Kevin Hinks. And you've probably seen some of his books. He's written quite a bit. Today we're going to read Owen. But he has all kinds of books. He has Chrysanthemum, which you probably know. He has Lily's Plastic Purse. He has Wimberly Worried. So he has all kinds of really fun books that we are going to be reading and taking a look at and seeing what exactly does he do in his books that are unique to him as an author. So without further ado, let's get started with this week's story, Owen. So before we get started, I want us to really just do a look. What do we notice about this story? We might notice that it's outside. The title is Owen, and Owen is a name. So I'm wondering if that's maybe the name of this little boy mouse right here. I notice Owen has a blanket, which Maybe we understand that, like maybe we have something that's favorite to us, whether it's a blanket or a stuffed animal or um, something special like a special pillow, maybe a special clothing item, like something we love to wear, like every single day we want to wear that. We notice that it's nice outside, so I'm wondering if it's summertime. You see this fence. So maybe he's in his backyard and that's his backyard fence. And I wonder who that is. Looks like she has binoculars. So I wonder if she's like a bird watcher or a nosy neighbor. I also noticed there's this little seal down here. And I point this out to you when we read because this is called a Caldecott Medal. And books that win the Caldecott Medal are really special books. So every year they give a medal out to one book. Now this is an honor. You can see it says Caldecott Honor. So it didn't win, but it was a runner up. It was so good that they considered it. So it got the honor. It didn't get the first prize, but still really good. So we have Owen by Kevin Hinks. And I just love his book, so I'm so excited. There's our title page, Owen. And we see that there's just one name. So it's written and illustrated by Kevin Hinks. There we go. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He'd had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, and upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, Ice cream, peanut butter, applesauce, cake. Isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked 
Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the Blanket Fairy? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. Look at his face. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, equally especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Hmm, he's not so sure about that. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. So it seems like Fuzzy really helps him when he's not happy, when he has to do things he doesn't like. Can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezer filled them in. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Vinegar, boys and girls, is a liquid that's very stinky. We can use vinegar to clean things with. We can use vinegar to cook with. Um, but it's kind of a smelly little liquid. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. Hmm, doesn't bother Owen. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden, and dug it up again. Ha! Good as new, said Owen. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it, he wore it, he dragged it. He sucked it, he hugged it, and twisted it. What are we going to do? asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents had not. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No said Owens' mother. No, said Owens' father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and would not stop. Don't worry, said Owens' mother. It'll be all right, said Owens' father. And then suddenly, 
Owens's mother had said, "I have an idea." It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. Oh, look at snip snip. So so. Yikes. First she snipped and then she sewed. Then she snipped again and sewed some more. Snip, 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 so, so, so. Dry your eyes, wipe your nose. Hooray, hooray! Now Owen carries one of his not so fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed Owen. Before we say goodbye to each other, I want us to take a peek up here. And I've started this. Right here I have the title, which is Owen. I put a picture up there. The character, setting, problem, solution, and lesson. So let's go ahead and think about the characters. Who were the characters in this story? We had Owen. We had Mom. Dad. We had Mrs. Tweezers. And of course, the all important blanket. Fuzzy. So those were our characters. Owen was definitely our main character. The story was about Owen and about Fuzzy. Now our setting. The setting is where the story takes place. And this story mostly takes place in the house and the backyard, wouldn't you say? So I would put Owen's house and backyard. Okay. What seemed to be the problem? What would you say the problem in this story was? Yeah, he doesn't want to get rid of his blanket, right? So Owen doesn't want to get rid of his blanket. And some of you might be thinking, oh yeah, I totally understand that. Maybe you have something that's so special to you, you can't bear to get rid of it. So the solution, what did they do to fix that problem? Remember mom came up with the idea to cut it up into small little tiny blankets. So mom cut it up into smaller pieces. Now he had lots of little blankets. And what do you think the lesson in this story is? What might be the lesson that we could take from this story? I want to say that Maybe the lesson here is change is okay. We get really comfortable with something and we love and we like something so much that we don't want to do something else. But then once we do something else, we realize, oh, that's okay. So maybe the story here is that change is okay. And maybe even good. Right? Maybe change is even good for us. Maybe as much as we don't want change to happen, it's good. 
We also might think that um, maybe the lesson here is also trust your parents, right? Mommy and daddy love you more than anybody. And they only make decisions that are good for you. So maybe trust your parents to do the right thing for you. Owens' parents loved him so very much. They wanted him to be happy. They weren't trying to make him upset by getting rid of his blanket, but maybe trusting your parents that they know what they're talking about. Maybe that's a good lesson, right? All right, boys and girls, I hope you love this story as much as I did. I can't wait to continue to read more. Thank you for joining me for our author study. Bye.